Hey guys, good morning. This is April over at the Resellers Learning Curve. This is another driving video, so the same disclaimer from yesterday applies. Um, I wanted to record this video because I just came from Goodwill and something crossed my mind and it was another one of those ideas that I've wanted to shoot a video about for some time but I just never did. I'm actually taking the street so that traffic is slower and I can actually shoot a video and pay attention. So if anybody's concerned, um, that's what's going on. I'm taking the streets. These glasses have a horrible glare. I don't know why. I love them but I don't love them in a lot of ways. Anywho, to the point of today's video, I wanted to talk about time-saving sourcing tips. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because if you guys source anything like me, and I'm sure a lot of people do, there are a few stores, a handful of stores maybe, definitely a couple of stores that you get to on a super, super regular basis. And then there are some stores that you visit from time to time, but you, um, you're not like a regular there. They might know who you are, but they know they're not going to see you all that often well this applies mostly to those stores that you source at on a regular basis <clears throat> for me that's gonna be my not so local Goodwill because I actually have a Goodwill that's closer than the one that I prefer um, and it's gonna be my favorite consignment store which I'm in three four times a week but what I wanted to talk about is when you go in a store, if you've been there several times in the past week or so, then you will know what was there the last time you were there. So if you know what was there and the last time you were there and you find something amazing, chances are nobody goes to a thrift store, a consignment shop, or anywhere to drop off a single item. And most people across their wardrobe are very, very consistent. And the reason that I'm sharing this video with you guys today is because I want to encourage you to think more and work less. Think about things more so that you have to do less work. So most of us are very consistent across our wardrobe. I know for me personally, there's probably five or six brands that I wear on a regular basis. Like five or six, it's not a ton. It's not like a long laundry list. And so if I were to donate my clothes, I would go in my closet and pick out all the things that I don't wear. Chances are a lot of them are gonna be from the specific brands that I tend to like and purchase and wear. And I'm gonna donate that in a batch. So if you go to a store and you're there on a fairly regular basis and you find, let's just use an example from a week ago when I found the Loro Piana, um, new with tags cashmere sweater I have to look through the rest of the store to be sure that that particular person didn't send in other similar items and what just happened at Goodwill today and this is a great example of how this works I'm going through one of the racks that's just coming out and I noticed that one person donated all of the items I know this because when they got their clothes dry cleaned they had a stick tag like actually a sticker put over the the brand label so I'm looking through the rack and I see that it's a lot of the same person um, and I'm noticing that the brands are starting to heat up and what do I mean by heat up well I see some Chico's and then I see some Banana Republic and then I see like a Xenia sport linen blouse it's a women's blouse and I'm like oh well this is getting interesting once again coming from the same person and the next thing on the rack was a Briani um, linen blouse both of these have like jewels and embellishments they're a little bizarre not the point of the video the point of the video is that you will often notice that if you're going through a rack of clothing they're gonna be similar items and if you're cutting down on the time you spend in the store then you want to find little ways mostly like that to determine if you need to spend more time in the store there are times that I go into Goodwill and I'll notice that there's new stuff out but the new stuff that's out is honestly not relevant to my interest or relevant to my business so I can be in and out of the store in 10 minutes and I love that I love when I'm in and out in 10 minutes it doesn't happen all the time but it happens often enough um, but like I said, if I go into a store and I'm seeing Laurel Piana, I'm seeing Xenia, I'm seeing Briani, then I need to stop and take more time to look through that store because chances are there's going to be more of those items because nobody donates one item. So I wanted to shoot this super quick video to give you guys that tip. Um, 
definitely take note of when the brands are starting to heat up. Use that, save yourself some time, concentrate your focus, and make money. I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.